thousands of years, the Chinese jade carvers have been making pieces like this. Decorative pieces, functional pieces, and traditional pieces. Although jade isn't a particularly hard stone, it's very fiddly to carve things like this, as you can see, and you can't do it with hammer and chisel. So what they did was to make a sort of rough foot treadle, which uh, drove a sort of spindle. It's a bit like an, a, an old sewing machine. And that spinning spindle had a piece of bamboo, that was dipped into grit, and with the grit, they wore the stone away. And you can imagine how long it took. Even a smallish statue would take some four months to complete. A very solid work. Well, today, these traditional pieces are still being carved out of jade, but the job is very much easier with modern machinery. Those intricate sculptures start life as this, a great chunk of jade. There's not a lot of jade left in China now, it's all been used up. So this has been imported, it's Siberian jade. But from here, it's going to be sliced on a diamond saw and perhaps polished or carved on abrasive wheels and finished in a whole variety of ways, depending on the uses to which it's been put. All of this is going on in the gemstone factory, Singapore Gems and Metals. And here, as well as the jade carvings, they produce gemstone jewellery, including beautiful necklaces of stone beads. Now each of those is a very, very good sphere, and you might think it was made by machinery, but that's not so. Each of those beads starts life as a little cube of stone, and if you think it's easy to try and turn one of these cubes into a sphere by hand, just try making one out of modelling clay and knocking off the sharp corners until it's a per perfect sphere. It's very hard work, very skilled work, but it's done here on a grinding stone. Well, even the finished beads are drilled by hand, and as you can imagine, some of them go wrong. But they're not wasted, nothing's wasted here. The gemstone beads are cut into, and the little pieces used for other things. Those pieces and others like them come up here to join millions of fellows in dozens of boxes. It's like Aladdin's cave here. There are just oodles and oodles and oodles of polished pieces of semi-precious gem. All of them waiting to be used. And what are they used for? Various things, including gemstone mosaics. Some of the pieces, of course, are much larger. This is the factory's pride and joy. Just finished, a magnificent peacock. Body of lapis lazuli, tail of malachite, sitting in an agate landscape. It's uh, unusual to have one as large as this, but it is typical in that most of the mosaics produced here feature animals of one kind or another.